Okay, welcome back. We are going to do another microbit activity. So again, we're going to go to makecode.microbit.org. And once we're there, we're going to create a new project. So I'll give you a few seconds um, to, to do that. All right. So again, we're going to be exploring on our... Um, the microbit page. Some of you might have some projects already here and so these are ones that are again they're stored within the uh, web cache of your website and so I always recommend to go ahead and save those onto your computer to make sure that you uh, save them in case something happens with your web browser. And then uh, so what we're, uh, also wanted to remind you that there are some cool tutorials down here as well. So we're going to go ahead and create a new project. So in this one, uh, we're going to create rock, paper, scissors. All right. So again, it's nice to have a good um, name for a, uh, the project. So something that we can understand. So when we go back later, we have a little bit of a, an idea of what's going on in there. Okay. So again, we have a micro bit on the left hand side so that is part of the simulator and we also have our uh, coding blocks here so different colors to help us figure out which category they're from and then we have our code over here on the right hand side so in this particular one we're going to have, and I'll just uh, right click here and add a little comment. So we're going to make rock, paper, scissors. So again, if we think about what does it mean to play rock, paper, scissors? So we have our hand, let's say, and then shake the hand or we can, not snake, uh, we either shake the hand or uh, push a button. So we need some sort of input um, to pick an item right or or whatever tool we're going to have either rock paper or scissors all right so we'll start off with that basic idea and then we'll come back to that uh, and build on it all right so i guess first we need some sort of input we can we can start with this forever if we wanted to or on start um, but there's a nice way that we can either use our our inputs uh, to do that so i'm just going to drag and drop those into the over here and that just deletes them so again we have our on button a pressed or on shake and so i'm going to use the on shake because it's always fun to sort of shake just like you would you know gesture with your hand so rock paper scissors shoot and then you would either have a rock paper or scissors so i'm now going to need a way of of picking that item and so i'm going to need a way of like storing a random so that picking of an item is somewhat of a, a random choice uh, for the computer or for the micro bit whereas us we sort of have a little bit of a calculated way of picking it uh, we're going to use a randomness and so that randomness we need uh, there's two blocks in particular that we need to to go and collect so one of them is a variable so we need to create where we're going to store that random so we can maybe have hand as our, our way of, um, of picking it. And then we're going to use math. I'm going to scroll down to our random. So I'm going to grab the random and I can just put it in there. You'll see that it nicely fits in there. So I'm just going to close that for now. So again, rock, paper, scissors. Well, let's think about, so we're, we're, going to modify this now a little bit so instead of it's going to to uh, the input is going to pick a number and then that number is going to tell us which item we are picking all right so we got that number and then so now we got to think, well, how many different numbers are there or how many different items there are? And so in our 
very basic example, we're using rock, paper, and scissors. So that's three different options. And so I can start off here with zero. So that is an option, zero. And maybe zero will be rock. So I'm just going to write that down here. So I'm going to say R is going to be zero. Or I guess zero will be rock. One will be paper. And two will be scissors. All right, so now we have zero, one, and two. And you might be wondering, well, why are we starting at zero? Well, computers actually start counting from zero because zero is a number. If we think about this, and I always share this with my friends, um, is how many Lamborghinis do I have? Well, I have zero of them. And so it's a great example of, of we need to start counting somewhere. And so in this example, um, and in computer science in general, we usually start with zero. And so here we have zero, one, and two as our random numbers that we are going to generate in here. So if I go ahead and I just test this out, I shake it, it looks like it works. Maybe, we're, we're not sure because we're not displaying anything. We're not giving any indication of the program that it's working. Now it's also, we don't know it's not working either. And so that's where we need to, to start to add in some things and that way we know what's happening. So one way that we can do this as a quick way, um, because we're gonna start to get a little more complex, is that we can go into basic and there's this option show number. And so this show number, and if I go to variable hand, I can just show the number. And so this is a good way of figuring out, is this working or not? Uh, or what we call in computer science, a debugging way. And so I'm gonna shake it and I see zero. Great. Shake it again, I see one. Shake it again, I see two. One. So I can, as I shake it, I start to see, okay, so I'm only seeing zero, one, and two. And so now I can start to relate these zero means rock, one means paper, and two means scissors. And so now I can start to use those um, in my code. And then I can get rid of this show number if I want to. So what I'm going to do is, again, there's a uh, sort of an if we need to, to think about here. So if hand is equal to zero, then we're going to show the rock. If hand oops, is equal to one, then we're gonna show paper. And then the last one here is if hand is equal to two, then we're gonna show scissors. All right, so let's start off with if the hand is equal to zero. So again, that if statement, we have those in our conditionals, that's a logic and then conditionals. So I'm just gonna grab this one in here. And then we need to have a, uh, a comparison statement. So we're comparing two things. So we're gonna compare if the value of hand, so again, this hand is a variable and so it can change. But if the value of it is equal to zero, we know that we're going to display a rock. And so here I'm going to go into basic. And now there, I can either draw my own rock or there are some icons that are already created. And so I'm just going to use this uh, and I click on the drop down. And then there's a little rock right here or what looks like a little rock. I like that one. And so again, if I want to test this out, so it's going to show two. Now it's not gonna show anything else. So if I do it again, zero, and then it will show the rock. And so I, you can see how it shows the number zero. Then if it was zero, then it shows that little rock. So we can start to build this up. So now we know that we have our hand is equal to zero, we're, we're good. So let's just go ahead and our I'm gonna click this plus down here and that will allow me to have other instances or other options in my 
you know, if it's not equal to zero, then what else could it equal? And so in our case, it's if it's not equal to zero, it's either going to equal one or two. And so what I want to do is I want to have a statement here. So else if hand equal to one, then we can show the paper. And so again, that was part of our comments here. I'll try to make it nice and big for us to continue to, to use it. So I'm going to, I'm just going to move this over so we can start to see as we build up here. So I'm going to right click on this whole big hexagon shape part, and I'm going to duplicate it because that's pretty well what we want to keep. And the only thing I'm going to change is we've already got a, a condition that if hand is equal to zero, we're going to have a condition now if hand is equal to one. And so we can change that to one. And then again, we're going to go into basics, show icon, we can use one of those paper ones. So I'm going to I'm going to use this as a paper. So for you, you can draw your own paper. You can have it all filled in. You can have a P. You can write the word paper. So the basic and then there's another option show string. So if I wanted to, I can have paper here. And then I have another one. Show string. All right, and then the last one down here is once I once I think about this, so I'm I'm gonna get a random number. So if I follow this from the beginning here, so I'm gonna get a random number, either zero, one, or two. I'm gonna display it. Well, I don't need to display it anymore, so I can I can eliminate that block. I'm just gonna delete it out the bottom here. So I'm gonna get a zero. 0, 1, or 2 as my random number. I have 0 here. So if I get a 0, it's going to display rock, and it will actually show the string rock. If I show, or if the random number is 1, then I will show the icon paper and the word paper. And then if we think about it, the only other option that will show up is a 2. And so two by default is going to be scissors. And so I don't need to have another if statement here. I can just have the leftover one here is just going to be like, well, it's leftover. So it's this is what we call a, the, our else statement. So our else statement is that leftover one. And so our leftover one is else. And we have these little scissors here to, so I don't know if you can see that, but we've got scissors here. And so again, if you wanted to have scissors along there, so we have scissors. All right, so now let's go ahead and try this out. I'm just gonna make this a little bit easier to see the whole snapshot. I'm gonna go ahead and shake it. And so I can see that scissors came up, and now it's doing the word scissors. Great. And so I shake it again. Oh, I sort of, before I clicked, it shook itself. We got rock. So again, I can just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle my mouse across here. So there's the rock. Now it's up to you if you want to have just the icons or um, the words as well. It's... It's completely up to you. I'm just going to take them all out. And that just shows you the icon. So just some a, a difference that you can have in, when you explore your, your code. So again, that's, our, that's the end of our little tutorial or our little demonstration here. Um, if you want to continue and you're playing another version of Rock, Paper, Scissors, maybe you're playing the Rock, Paper, Scissors, uh, Lizard, Spock version, then I would invite you to keep adding. And so again, just thinking about that, well, Lizard, Spock, they can be, you know, number three and number four. And then I challenge you to uh, include those into um, these if 
or if else statements. If you need any help, please feel free to reach out. I'm always here to help and excited to, to do that. And uh, if you want to show this, then please uh, let me know and, and share it with me. I'd love to see some, some final results from people. All right. Thanks again for watching. And if you have any uh, support needs, just feel free to reach out. If not, happy coding. Bye for now.